Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake Rodriguez from Prada from Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental, Philippines. Welcome to my channel and then in this tutorial video, I will discuss on how to write prime number checker in bb.net or Microsoft Visual Basic.net. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers of my channel. If you are new with my channel, please click the like button if you like this video tutorial please leave a comment so that i will be notified if what are the topics that you like that i will discuss in my future video tutorials and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorial videos talks on technologies life and much more he, uh, so let's get started right now our program is running so we have here prime number checker in vb.net give a number let's say for example we have five when we click the ok button it will check if really a five is a prime number so the given number five is a prime number click ok another number six when you click OK, the given number 6 is not a prime number. Okay? And then when I, I click the quit button, our program will be terminated. It will ask a question. Are you sure you want to quit? Let's say, for example, yes, our program is terminated. So, when we run again, let's say 11, the given number 11 is a prime number. 14. We click OK button. The given number 14 is not a prime number. Click OK. Then quit. Are you sure you want to quit? No. It, it will ask again to give another value. The given number 9. If the user give the value 9 in the text box. The given number 9 is not a prime number. So, we let us uh, click the quit button. Are you, are you sure you want to quit? Yes. So, let's let's go on how the program works. So, here I just draw a one text box and then a label to label prime number checker in vb.net or visualbasic.net and then give a number, another label and then the text box remember that the text box normally has a string values if we want to accept the numerical value integer or real number it should be converted into a numerical value using val function in microsoft visual basic.net and then we have here the ok and then we have here the quit let us uh, quit button let us go with the ok button we double click the ok button we will have the code here so i have a series of variables them i dimension i comma j as integer them t as boolean remember in microsoft visual basic.net you are required to de declare a variable it is very important in a good programming practices always declare a variable before you use it in your program so we have here i equals val a val is a function in microsoft visual basic.net to convert the text box one point text this one its values into numerical format if t equals true means boolean if j equals two to open parenthesis i minus one if i mod modulus for the, if there is a mean there j equals zero then t equals false exit for and if and next j if t means it is true then message back the given number i the value that is stored in our text box one point text is a prime number if it is true text box one that focus so you it focus the cursor there and false the given number is not a prime number it is false 
so we have already done it's uh, ex explaining no, the uh, the ok button the another, another button that I would like to discuss is the quit button the quit button here the code is quite simple so we have here if message box are you sure you want to quit bb yes no plus bb question that an icon quit bb yes then me that close meaning this form will be closed else if it is true else it is false me that show text a box by text blank and text a box that focus now and if end of the conditional statement and sub when we run the program let's say for example we have 78 and then we click the ok button the given number 78 is not a prime number okay let's try 79 the given number 79 is a prime number and then we click the quit button are you sure you want to quit the program yes so we have already done uh, creating a program to check if the given number is a prime number or not using visual basic.net or vb.net by the way i will put the link on the description below of this video tutorial for if you want to copy the complete program listing for free before we end if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial share subscribe click the notification and thank you very much guys for watching this is your friend from Bacolod City Negros Occidental Jake Rodriguez Pomperada says until to the next video tutorial bye bye for now